Today I'm going to show you how to enable developer mode on the Nokia N9 and become root and install Opera Mobile using the terminal. The first step is to enable developer mode, which is pretty much a one-click operation on the N9. Uh, go to settings, security, develop Oops. Developer mode. And then just tap this little toggle here. And uh, to enable developer mode, you'll get uh, a message that there is, uh, it'll make software development easier, but it might also introduce security risks. So you, when, when you're done, uh, you should probably come back here and turn developer mode off. Uh, there are a bunch of optional this is a, a list of some optional uh, tools, development tools you can install once you're in developer mode. We're not going to install any of those right now. Just basic developer mode is enough for what we need, what we want to do. So now if we go back to the application uh, home screen, you'll see two new apps added to the bottom. Uh, SDD, SDK Connect, which helps you connect the N9 up with the Mego Harmaton SDK on your PC and terminal, which is what we're interested in. If we tap terminal, this is the uh, N9 uh, terminal, Unix terminal program. It's a bash shell, I believe. And up at the top here, there's a, a little uh, menu button. It's kind of hard to see, and it lets you do a few things with the terminal, like change the colors. The default is actually green on black, um, but I prefer the uh, black on light yellow. The other thing you can do with that um, menu is you can change this toolbar. The default toolbar has uh, a bunch of keys that are useful. Let's skip the default. There, this is the default toolbar, uh, which is labeled shell, and it gives you tab, control, escape, and then the pipe, the ampersand, the greater than less than symbols, the dollar sign, uh, the tilde, pound sign, and a few other keys that are, are useful uh, when pro doing shell programming and that are, hard, that are not easily accessible on the standard keyboard. But we're not going to need any of those keys today, so let's go to the arrows toolbar, which gives you uh, up, down, left, right, page up, page down, along with tab, control, and escape. And these will come in handy as we use the shell. So the first thing we want to do is enable um, super user or root. Now, on most uh, Linux systems, you just type su, and then you type a password that you've defined. The N9, they've uh, renamed the su command as Devel SU, D E V E L dash SU. So we're going to type that in D E V L hyphen SU and hit enter. Oh, this type it's D E V E L. Uh, here's a handy thing with the arrow. You can press the up arrow and get the last command you typed back. And then we can just arrow over and add that missing E. And hit enter. Okay, it asks for a password. The password is root me. R O O T M E. Okay, so now you got the pound sign prompt, which indicates you're in super user mode. And we can go ahead and install the Opera Mini package, which I've downloaded from uh, mymego.com. If you go to mymego.com, click on Downloads and search for Opera, you'll find it. Uh, this Opera package was, it's not an official release. It's not in any way endorsed by Opera. And it does have a few issues, but it's fun with, to play with. Opera's probably my favorite mobile browser wherever I can find it. And uh, the, the, what happened was Opera issued a labs release for the uh, community edition of Mego for the N900. 
And it doesn't actually run on the N9 uh, without modification because the N9 uses a different packaging scheme. N9 uses the Debian, the Debian uh, Deb package. And uh, Migo is uh, Red Hat based and uses whatever Red Hat uses. And so uh, a couple of uh, blogger developers figured out how to repackage Opera's uh, build as a DEB. Uh, their names are Zen and Sans T1. And there's links to their blogs in the in on my blog, uh, which you can find the URL of down below this video in the description field. Anyway, so I have uh, downloaded the Opera app and saved it um, with the browser, and it, it's been saved in the default location, which is uh, Home User My Docs Downloads. So we're going to CD there, change directory to slash home you can use tab again to complete directory names just like uh, on a regular Linux PC or server uh, terminal and so we go to home user slash capital M lowercase y capital D O C S slash and then capital D O W N downloads and I have and I hit enter okay now we're in that directory the command we want to run is D package space hyphen I And then the path to our Opera uh, download, which is Opera Mobile, some long name. We can just type Opera M and hit tab. And it's completed it for you there. It's Opera Mobile 1100-1 armel.deb. So now we just run that command. And it's going to think about it for a bit, and then it's going to take off. It says it's unpacking it. It's stalling it. Setting it up. And we're done. We're back at the uh, pound sign prompt again showing we're back uh, the command has completed so we can just close the terminal or if you want to be uh, fancy you can type exit once to get out of super user mode and once more to close the terminal okay now if we go back here we see down at the bottom we have an opera mobile so let's launch this as i said this is not an official release there are bugs. It's less than perfect, but it does pretty much work. We can load WAP review, for example. Everything works here. You can use the uh, Opera link to synchronize Opera Mobile, synchronize your bookmarks with your Opera desktop or other mobile devices. So there's the mobile version of Op uh, Web WAP review. And one first bug, maybe it's not really a bug, maybe it's a feature, but it, Opera Mobile on the N9 is landscape only. You can flip it into portrait mode, but it still displays in landscape. So that's not so good. The other problem is that this menu button doesn't always work. It usually works until you have a couple of, whoops, see now it's not working. It worked once. So now it worked again. This usually happens when we open another window. And let's open something else in here like uh, Google Reader, for example. Now, if we go into Google Reader, which works really well in Opera Mobile, um, and then we try to, well, now, see, now it's working. But I often find this little thing here will not work. See, now it's, it's kind of sluggish. Yeah, the key press is registering, but you can see that it... Uh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's let's just close Opera Mobile. 
because uh, at this point, well, we can get we can hit back, and we hit back, and we took us back to the uh, start page, and the, it gave us the menu again, and it, now it's working. So we can exit and say yes. If you ever want to remove Opera Mobile, uh, one thing I found out is doing a hard reset, uh, clear from the reset menu, does not remove Opera Mobile. It removes everything else, but not Opera Mobile. It's kind of weird. Uh, if you want to get it off your system, you can do a dpackage hyphen R Opera Mobile. Uh, and that will remove the package. That's all for now. This is Dennis Pornick at WAPReview.com.